There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <laughs> Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the best woman, <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? 
couple of people have taken to grave robing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Dave Roberts? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's OK. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Arthur! What are you doing? This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. I'll check this way. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. <laughs> We're doing this. I know, but he won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Look at the size of these things. Corpses in this city live better than we do. here somewhere. Come on. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. We have pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I'm 
sorry, sir. I had a bit to drink. A friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'm gonna check over here. Be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Think there might be something in here. Gates open. Lock. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Well, 
It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, just see where we're at once we got Jack. Alright, let's get this done. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Ah. Thank Mr. Everything. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs, one for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, 
Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Make some room for John there. Hurry, hurry. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what oh, 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 good. good to have you back, oh, kids. We yeah. missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Javier, That's good. play us away. Woo! <laughs> Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. No ordering suspiciously as usual. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. You not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. Boy, a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Welcome back, Jackie. Thanks. Lágrimas vine llorando y con la flor del trompillo. You must be starving. Don't know if you saw, but I left that medicine for you by your tent. Thanks, Jose. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. Couldn't have done it without Dutch and Arthur. The old guard. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. How are you, Mary Beth? Manny? Miss Grimshaw. How's it going? Hell, pretty good. Tahiti, dear Me boy. Too. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Tell you boys about the time I was hanged. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing. Something or other. I feel like I can breathe again. Uh, no. Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was... Well, I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down. 
Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, they, he shot the So road. good to have you back here. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. Was you scared? Okay, well, let's talk more later. Bye-bye. Look after that kid. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. All right, Come well, on. I should be getting on. Let's leave him to play a minute. All right, Good then. to see you smiling again, Abigail. Thank you again. Truly. Ah, uh, I miss that little rascal. Well, I should get back to it. Take care, Arthur. And he's the one that turned me into a dirty little Maybe play something for Jack later. I'll ask him in a bit. Okay. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it was harm, I jumped in bed beside him. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, Jack. Hi. How are you holding up? I found some candy in my pocket. Good for you. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Ain't nobody ever gonna take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? <laughs> Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Take this fella for one. A man don't just change like the wind, Abigail. I thought you'd have known that by now. No, Arthur. Some folks change. And others are just too dumb. Good night to everyone. Glad to hear it. Good night, everyone. Don't stay up too late. 